What's going on you guys? My name's Took and today I'm going to be going over my five favorite production tips to help you speed up your workflow. Whether you work in audio or video, I guarantee there's going to be some tips and tricks in this video to help you. So without wasting any more of your time, let's get started. Now I want to preface this by saying any good tool should be multifunctional. There should be no reason for a tool to be doing only one thing. And that brings me to my first favorite thing from my studio and that would be my iPad. Now I use the big boy iPad. It's the 12.9 iPad Pro. I love this thing for productivity. It's great for making posters, great for making quick edits on photos, and it's also great for taking notes and scripting out videos like this one. And as long as you're in the Apple ecosystem, there's tons of great features that you can take advantage of, such as universal control or my favorite sidecar, which allows you to use your iPad as a wireless second display for your computer. And because it's wireless, that allows me to do things like throw it into the booth with Ableton when I'm recording so I can monitor myself live. And things like that are extremely useful and save you a ton of time in the long run. Now my second favorite thing to help me speed up my production workflow is this beautiful thing right here. Not only does it save you from carpal tunnel, but it also has customizable buttons. And the buttons are customizable on a per app basis. So you can have your mouse do one thing in one app, but do something completely different in another. And this alone has saved me so much time. And coming from somebody that thought they'd never leave the magic trackpad, I can tell you that this has increased my accuracy and my speed for all my clicks and all my edits a ton. Now, my third tip's pretty simple for you guys, and it's pretty much just all about cable management. I can't tell you how much time it'll save you if you keep your cords coiled and you keep them easily accessible. Now, one of my favorite tips for cable management is if you're like me and you can't afford color-coded cables, go pick up some duct tape or some gaffer's tape and put the same color on each end of the cables. That way you know that this end matches this end, and you no longer have to trace back an entire cable just to figure out where it's going. Now my fourth tip for you guys is talking about things that turn software into hardware. My example is the Ableton Push 2. Now I just prefer real buttons and real knobs much more than actually clicking on my computer. For as much time as I spend on my computer, I hate it. If I can twist a knob instead, I'm all about it and I feel like it makes your process much more personal and much more customizable. Now this is specifically for Ableton, but there are plenty of other options out there for other digital audio workstations or for video editing software. Just make sure you do your own research and you get one that's going to work for you, your workflow, and your software. And that leads me into my fifth and possibly most important tip for you guys is learn your keyboard shortcuts. Every program has their own and it might slow you down at first learning them, but in the long run it will save you hours, I promise. And a quick bonus tip for my people with cameras is I can't talk enough about how much I love quick release technology. Being able to hop between gimbal to tripod to neck strap on set within seconds saves so much stress and so much time. All right, you guys, those are my favorite tips and tricks to help speed up your production workflow. If you liked it, if you learned something, don't be afraid to subscribe or like the video. If you didn't, that other button really doesn't work, so it doesn't matter. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.